In this Map Suite MVC Edition sample app walkthrough, we're going to show you how you can set the background color of the map. As you can see here, we've just got a basic map and we've got uh, um, some color selections over here on the left hand side. And as I click through them, you'll see the background color of the map change. Um, this sample is pretty straightforward as it can all be changed via um, one property on the map control. So let's take a look at the code and see how you do this. If we take a look at the controller uh, source code, you can see we've got a, um, uh, a routine in here called update background. and It's taking in a, a map parameter and then uh, some event arguments. And then on this line here, we're actually creating a geo color. If you're not familiar with geo colors, this is uh, um, some classes within Map Suite that allow you how to work from work with different colors very easily. In this case, we're using an HTML um, hex valued color that's getting passed to us from the web page, and we're creating the back color. And then to actually apply that background color to the map, all you need to do is call the map background dot background brush and then create a new geo solid brush and pass in that background color. Now you may wonder, well, why do I have to do all this stuff? Because you may just say, why can't I just set it directly as the color? Well, the nice thing about using brushes is if you wanted to do some sort of thing like is a hatch pattern or dash or um, gradients and all of that, you have different brushes that you can select to do that. So in this case, we're just using a solid brush and setting it to, uh, to the color it was selected. But be aware there are far more um, and different types of brushes that you can use for different scenarios. Uh, one last thing I wanted to show is on the view source, just to show how we are passing that uh, HTML color up to the server. And if we take a look at the view source here, we've just got our standard um, server side code here where we're setting up the map for the first time with, the, with its default back color. And then here are our input buttons that represent the colors that can be selected in the sample. And you can see on the on-click event, uh, we've got the, uh, the HTML hex color listed here, and we're going to call this JavaScript function called upgrade, Update Background. When that gets executed, that comes up here to this JavaScript block and does an AJAX callback to the map, um, tells it what controller to use and what uh, method to use within that controller, and then passes it the, uh, the color, and then um, returns back to redraw the um, the map's background. So this is just a fairly straightforward sample that gives you uh, uh, a good working uh, example of how you can control the background color on your map. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or you can post them directly on our discussion forums at thinkgeo.com forums and thank you for watching.